the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Good morning. Let us pause now and call to mind our sins and ask forgiveness. You have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. You intercede for us at the right hand of your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. <clears throat> May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. God of might, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name, so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good, and by your watchful care, Keep safe what you have nurtured. We pray through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Concerning times and seasons, brothers and sisters, you have no need for anything to be written to you. For you yourselves know very well that the day of the Lord will come like a thief at night. When people are saying peace and security, then suddenly disaster comes upon them like labor pains upon a pregnant woman, and they will not escape. But you, brothers and sisters, are not in darkness for that day to overtake you like a thief. For all of you are children of the light and children of the day. We are not of the night or of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as the rest do, but let us stay alert and sober. For God did not destine us for wrath, but to gain salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, so that whether we are awake or asleep, we may live together with him. Therefore, encourage one another and build one another up, as indeed you do. The word of the Lord. I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. I believe that I shall see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom shall I be afraid? I believe that I will see the good things of the Lord in the land of the living. One thing I ask of the Lord, this I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, that I may gaze on the loveliness of the Lord and contemplate his temple. I believe I shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. I believe I shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Alleluia, alleluia. A great prophet has arisen in our midst and God has visited his people. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus went down to Capernaum, a town of Galilee. He taught them on the Sabbath, and they were astonished at his teaching because he spoke with authority. In the synagogue, there was a man with the spirit of an unclean demon, and he cried out in a loud voice, What have you to do with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Jesus rebuked him and said, Be quiet, come out of him. Then the demon threw the man down in front of them and came out of him without doing him any harm. They were all amazed and said to one another, 
What is there about his word? For what authority and power he commands the unclean spirits and they come out. The news of Jesus spread everywhere in the surrounding region. The Gospel of the Lord. So we have a switch now from Matthew to Luke's Gospel, and we will read Luke uh, through until the beginning of Advent. So who is this guy, Luke? Well, scholarship would suggest that he probably was a companion of St. Paul. Uh, he wrote and was, in fact, a Gentile Christian and wrote to Gentile Christians in probably what is um, modern-day Syria. And tradition has that Luke was a physician, a doctor. Um, and so in, in his gospel, you, you see Jesus really cast as the great physician, the great healer. And you have wonderful stories of healing um, in Luke. But also you have stories of reconciliation and forgiveness, like the Good Samaritan, the prodigal son, the shepherd that chases after the lost sheep. So today, uh, we see Jesus, uh, in many ways, opening his ministry in Capernaum. And the message of today's gospel is the power, the power of Jesus' word to confront evil in us and to expel it. By his word, he cast a demon out of the man. And so I think the, the, the challenge for us is to realize that the ministry of Jesus is just not about history past. Jesus is just as present to us today as he was in the synagogue at Capernaum. Different, he's, in a, he's present in a different way, but he's here. And his word still has power to confront the evil in us and to heal us of it. That's why our familiarity, our study, our reflection on God's word is so important for us disciples. It, it is a diet that we cannot do without. Because we all know that, you know, we battle with sin. We battle with evil. And it is the power of Jesus to heal us. Nothing else can heal us of our pride, our jealousies, our grudges, um, our lust, whatever it is that lurks in our heart. That demon, Jesus can cast out if we but let his word touch us and heal us. Today, as we share in the word made flesh in the Eucharist, let us pray that we will always be open to what Jesus wants to say to us. Let us stand and bring our petitions to the mercy of our God. For the church throughout the world, may God plant the seed of his word in the hearts of believers. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For local and national leaders, may God grant them wisdom in leading with mercy and justice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the sick and those who care for them, May they be comforted by our loving God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For members of this faith community, may God grant us strength to be his witness in the world, testifying to Jesus' words and deeds. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, may Christ lead them to new life with the Father. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For Rosemary Marquette, for whom this Mass is offered, and for what or for whom do we pray today?
And for peace and for peace in Ukraine, we pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And we pray these many things through Christ our Lord. Himself to share in life and death. Thus, Lord, that of all creation, he who is beyond us, bread and wine, the blessed fruit of thy womb, and from thy hands that come to us, thy spiritual food and drink. Lord God, we ask thee to be pleased with us and to accept the sacrifice we offer you humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me from all my sins. Thank you. Pray, my brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. Lord, may this sacred offering confer upon us the blessings of salvation, that what is celebrated in mystery may be accomplished in power. We pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. His coming again in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the choirs of angels and saints, May our voices be one in grateful praise as we say, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. And humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, William our Bishop, 
and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, her husband, the apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For it is through him, with him, in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look then not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, Jesus Christ, of faith and love and mercy to your body. And drink your blood and not bring your condemnation upon your divine body and spirit. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray. Lord, we beseech you, renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and stir us to serve you and our neighbor, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. We have a memorial mass at 10 o'clock this morning, so there's no adoration. Have a good day.